Mr. Stanger. Chairwoman Klobuchar, Chairman Peters, Ranking Member Blunt, and Ranking Member Portman. The National Capital Region is a unique environment for law enforcement. The U.S. Capitol Police, in conjunction with the sergeants at arms, work to provide security of the Capitol complex and its population. But there is a shared responsibility with other law enforcement groups within the region. Sharing of information and resources is paramount for success. Once assuming the position of the Senate Sergeant at Arms, enhancement of the working relationship between my office and U.S. Capitol Police had been a priority. I am a proponent of the concept of intelligence-led policing. This methodology can be used in assessing threats to individual members as well as threats to the campus. As in all intelligence operations, it is only as good as the analyst assessing it. And that assessment is then placed in the appropriate hands to take steps in order to mitigate any threats. We have to be careful of returning to a time when possibility rather than probability drives security plan. For the events of January 6th certainly reveal that a review of intelligence should be done. Returning to the concept of possibility driving security operations may result in the poor use of resources. This is the constant give and take of security plan. There is an opportunity to learn lessons from the events of January 6th. Investigations should be considered as to the funding and traveling what appears to be professional agitators. First Amendment rights should always be considered in conjunction with these investigations. Law enforcement coordination in the National Capital Region should be reviewed to determine what can be done in a more efficient and productive manner. Intelligence collection and dissemination, training and concepts on the use of force must be consistent. This integration should be accomplished without regard to self-interest and cost. In, conclu in conclusion, whenever we prepare for a major event, just always consider the possibility of some level of civil disobedience at these demonstrations and plan accordingly. Events of January 6th went beyond disobedience. This was a violent coordinated attack where the loss of life would have been much worse. This concludes my prepared remarks. Thank you, Mr. Stanger. Mr. Irving. 